both the value and the privilege of an education was instilled in me early on. My great grandmother stood on the corner selling eggs so that her daughter, my grandmother, could go to school. Family certainly instilled a sense of how privileged I am and how privileged we are in Canada and a sense of service that with that privilege, we have things that we need to provide to others. I focus on the social dimensions of sustainability. And in short, what that means to me is really looking at people, processes, and institutions, and see how these shape how we make decisions about environment and development. So I try to explain how gender and other social factors such as age, socioeconomic status, indigeneity, how these things come together to privilege some groups and frankly exclude other groups from the really important decisions about our environment, about sustainability, and increasingly about climate change adaptation. One of the things that I'm really pleased about is the way in which some of the work that I've done around gender and diversity is now being taken up in public policy. And what I've come to realize is that we share common interests that these kinds of issues need to be addressed by bringing the natural, the social, and the health sciences together. I'm gonna to pass on a piece of advice that my sister gave me before I started high school. And she said to me, Maureen, get involved, don't wait. So for those of us in environment and sustainability, there's no better advice. The planet needs you, people need you, and the rewards are enormous.